Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing another video. This time this video is going to be a review of the NECA, of the brand new NECA Ultimate Battle Damage City Hunter. This figure is barely new, it's the Battle Damage City Hunter Ultimate version. The old version came out way, 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 like, it came out like quite a while ago, came out like a long time ago. So I'm really glad that they made this Ultimate version. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this guy to come out. And sorry I haven't been doing any videos lately, I just haven't been doing any videos lately i just hadn't i just didn't have any stuff to review and i didn't even feel like filming or making any video and uh and i don't know uh i just wasn't making videos in a while because i didn't because i didn't want to and i just wanted to take a break from doing videos and do other things besides uploading but uh yeah and speaking of that um april 26th was alien day so yeah um in case you don't know what alien day is alien day is it's basically like the planet from Aliens LV LV four twenty six. So yeah, since it's um f f since it's twenty six, and they decided to make um April twenty six Alien Day. But yeah, I ha sorry I didn't upload anything on Alien Day either. I didn't really have any aliens to review or anything, and I didn't want to do a video in general. But uh, yeah, um, I would get into this guy's um paint, um detail, sculpt, articulation. And his accessories, of course, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna be over, going over the box. So yeah, um, let me move this guy. So yeah, and I'm also gonna do some comparisons. I forgot to say that, but the first thing I'm gonna go over here is the box. The box is a very nice box. You can see right there. Um, it says Predator Two Ultimate Damage City Hunter. You can see the nice blood detail and everything. Very nice artwork for this. The City Hunter Predator is just standing in a corner right there. You can see Danny Glover in the background. He's looking for the Predator, but this guy's just... He's just hanging out right there in the corner. He has the breather mask right there. And very nice artwork. It, it, this isn't from the movie, but it's very nice artwork. I really like the artwork. And it's a good representation for the box. The box is a good representation. So yeah, very nice. The back of the box here... Has some images of the of the figure right there, very nice images. So yeah, the main thing that bugs me here is that they always show this kind of not yelling, but kind of casual open mouth, um, open mouth um head sculpt with his mandibles kind of open but not yelling. So yeah, they they always show this in the promo in the promotional photos of every predator and especially this guy, but all we get is a closed mouth version, and it's not a big deal. It, the same thing kind of happened with the Lost Predator, but 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 uh, it would have been really cool. Um, well, not extremely cool, but it still would have been cool if we got in a uh, this 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 type of head sculpt with the Lost Predator and this guy instead of just having the the mast and the closed mouth head sculpt, um, and the mast and the unmasked um and the unmasked closed mouth head sculpt. But uh, it's not a big deal. I can live without it, but it still would have been cool anyway. But nice images. Then the checklist of all the of all the ultimate predators waiting to be made. We already got some, most of them: Stalker, Guardian, uh, Scout, and Lost Armor. See, I got Guardian too. I'm gonna review him next. But uh, we're still missing not not a not a lot, but we're but we're, but but we are still missing quite a bit of of very cool good predators. But uh, there's a bio reader right there. You I'll. Uh, you could pause if you want to read that. Sorry, sorry for the shaky hands, but it's a bio read up. Let's see, I pause to read that. But yeah, that's about it for the box. The side says 30th anniversary Predator 2. But now, before I go over the actual figure, let me go over his accessories real quick. So here we go. Here is this uh, combi stick. It's a very nice casual combi stick. NECA's been including this combi stick with basically every Predator 2 figure, except Lost, of course. But, um, very nice, ordinary, but very good looking combi stick. The camera fell down because this desk kind of shook a bit, but. Yeah, um, sorry, Bert. Uh, very nice detail all around the combi stick. The combi stick's very nicely detailed. And the tip right there. See, I wasn't, it wasn't a hassle, but it was quite. Difficult getting getting carefully getting this combi stick out because they poke a little hole in the package And that's where they slide that stick in so the spear could have broken if I was like 
if I was um if I was rough getting this out of the box. I don't know why they put that hole there, but uh whatever. As as long as the spear is carefully is careful and everything. But yeah, very nice combi stick. It comes with every lost member except except a uh, lost. And then right here is this is this casual is this casual holding mask. And no, you can't and, and no, you can't pop this on the unmasked head sculpt. This is just a a cool looking um a mask that the predator could casually hold in his hands or his arms. Very nicely detailed. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for NECA to do this with this guy. And other predators. NECA needs to do this with under with other predators, honestly, because it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool having the predators hold the mask just like that. You don't always have to have have you don't always have to have the ability of popping them on. But very nice. Nice kind of weathering scar in the front right there, or whatever. You can see it right there. If the camera isn't so blurry. But very nice nicely detailed. Um nice glossy biomask. Nice brown color all around. The front of the mask looks good. The side, everything. Then, then the uh, inside right there is nice. It's very nicely detailed in the inside. So I finally get to look at what's going on here in the inside of this mask. So yeah, it's very nice. Overall, very cool bio mask that he could just hold right there in his hands. So, yeah, there's about it. that's that's it for that accessory. Then here's the the good looking unmasked closed mouth head. Looks very good. It's the it's the exact same sculpt as um it's the exact same head sculpt as the lost, but of course the city hunter. Very nicely detailed, nicely detailed mandibles, nice glossy mandibles and head and everything. Nicely detailed. You kind of see the pink gums. The camera is kind of blurry. It's all this camera is always blurry every time I record, but it's very nicely detailed. The crown, the spiky, rigid crown. See it right there. See it. Predator's heads are very rigid, but very nicely detailed. Then the top right there is kind of like round, but smooth on the top right there. Then the, then the um, dreadlocks are nice. See, so yeah, very nice dreadlocks for this guy. And the closed mouth, the glossiness and everything. Looks pretty good. I wish I could give you a better look if this camera wasn't so blurry. If this camera wasn't so blurry, I would give you a better look. But you could definitely see it and it looks pretty good. And there's other reviews of this guy. So, yeah, that's about it for that. And then here's the smart disc. This closed smart disc. NECA's been including a closed and open smart disc with tons of their, with a lot of their ultimate predator figures. But it's very nicely detailed right there. Nice standard smart disc. Then here's the open one. See, I prefer the closed one. I don't know why, but the open one, the open one's pretty cool. Then here's the closed copy stick. See, so yeah, pretty nice, nicely detailed. The so the the middle's kind of sil silver, but very nice combi stick. Oh, fell. So yeah, very nicely detailed, nicely sculpted. Then this, then here's the severed arm. This is one of my favorite accessories, the severed arm. You could reconnect this arm with. You could connect this arm with his. With his. We. You could connect this with his arm. But uh, it looks kind of weird, and I don't know why. But on mine, it, it's kind of struggles to get in. It's kind of like squishy. It's kind of like loose in there. But the hand, see, yeah, the hand you could also take off. I'm not gonna take it off. But here's the hand, open hand. It's nicely detailed, right there. Then the skin on the hand, right there, and everything. And the nails are nicely detailed and painted. So yeah, very nice hand and the nice detail for the severed arm. There it is, right there. And then you can see the little peg to plug it in. And the rest of his gauntlet. So, yeah. That's about it. Oh, wait, one more thing. Two, two, well, a couple more things. Here's the open gripping hand to hold the spear. It's very nicely detailed. So you could hold the spear with this hand. Then here's this weird one. I don't know what this hand's for, but this hand's always included with, like, most predators. But, uh... Someone let me know in the comments what this hand is mainly used for. I don't know what hand this is. This is just a weird... This is just a weird closed hand. It's definitely not a fisted hand because it's kind of open. 
You could use it as a as a fisted, but it's it's not because it's open. It would have been closed if it was fisted. But someone let me know in the comments what this hand is used for. What this is for. Because I always see that hand on every Predator and I don't know what it's mainly for. But uh, that's a good look at the accessories. Now I'm going to go over the actual figure. Starting with the paint and the detail and sculpting. So yeah, the paint is very nicely detailed. You can see the nice um, blotches of, of blood all around him. Very nice. Then, the, then right here in the stomach area where he got shot you can see the blood. Then blood on, on a couple of his armor right on his armor right there. Then his leg, his thigh area has blood. And it's just pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice addition of blood right there. The blood really complements this figure. And it's a good amount of blood for me anyway. Not a lot, a lot, but good amount. Then here's the nicely detailed severed arm. As you can see, this is this is um as soon as the predator um lost his arm in Predator 2, he went to heal. But uh it's a very nicely detailed arm right there, kind of yellow, kind of yellow blood and flesh mixed with mixed with green blood and flesh a bit. It definitely, it kind of looks like a like a xenomorph flesh and blood, but 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 different. But it's very nice. There's the hole where the little peg on the on the other half of the arm plugs in. So, yeah. Then there's his gauntlet right there. His chopped and half gauntlet. And yeah, very nicely detailed, very nice, uh, very nice amount of blood, and then the actual f and paint and everything in the body of this guy is pretty nice. Chest right there, then his, then the legs and the blood, like I mentioned, pretty cool. Legs, armor, his feet are very nice, nicely detailed feet, armor, and in the back of him, the back, the, his back and everything, his back armor. And is in the back of his arms and stuff. It's pretty cool. Nicely detailed as well and sculpted. This is the armor and then this is the med kit. This med kit doesn't come off, but but there's a med kit. This med kit this med kit is sculpted on there, but it's there. Very nice. Then he has the clip to hold his uh, combi stick right there. So yeah, you can see it. Then the back of the arm and everything, the legs, and then the butt right there, and then the armor covering the butt. But uh yeah, he's very nicely sculpted, very nicely painted, and and uh that's pretty cool. Um I especially love the blood, like I said. The blood is one of the main things, it's one of the key features I like about this guy. The old one was decent, but it wasn't as good as this. I, I liked this much better than the old one. I don't old I don't own the old one, but I've seen videos of it and I and I've seen it myself. But I think this is better than the old one. But uh yeah. Uh, let me show you a bit more of, of the sculpt and everything because he is pretty cool. This is a good figure, so I want to give you a good look at everything. Then there's the chest armor, and then the breather mask right there. The breather mask, the breather mask doesn't come off, but this head right here is very nicely detailed. It's like the other one, but it's very nicely detailed. So yeah, very nicely detailed right there, and then right there, the mask again. Then here's the then here's the holster to put the disc, and the side of him, the front. See, so yeah, armor's pretty nice as well. He has no neck gun. I kind of wish he came with the neck gun. That would have been pretty cool. And also like this weird, like NECA always includes the predator hand that is kind of positioned like this. Is like this hand, and then you put the neck gun on it. I wish that was included, but it's no not a big deal. So yeah, but that's about it for. For a nice paint and sculpt and everything, I gave you a good look. Here's the wrist plates. The wrist plates, this this wrist plates are kind of um tough to get to slide. Mine specifically are tough to slide, but overall pretty cool. But uh, yeah, now I'm go now I'm gonna go over his articulation. So you know, let me back him up a bit. Here's the head. The head goes a full 360 degrees right there, and then up. Up, up a good amount, and then down a good amount. Side to side on the pivot, all the way around like I showed you. Up, down. So yeah, very nice ball joint at the head. The arm goes out pretty far, and then inwards pretty far. And then goes all the way around. Nice double joint at the elbow right there. 
the gauntlet swivels and the hand moves. Like I said, the wrist blades are kind of hard. My, my wrist blades are kind of tough to slide in and out, but they do articulate. Then the chest right there, I don't want to move it because I don't, I, I think it's meant to move, but then the armor, once again, is just derp, is like kind of bothering it. And this figure, I don't want to break this figure, I want to be gentle with them because there are a couple fragile parts on this guy. But yeah, it does have waist articulation and the body itself goes all the way around. See, so the entire body. The leg goes out a good, a good amount, like 90 degrees in a good amount. It goes up a good amount, but the leg is pretty stiff. The other one goes goes up no problem, and back no problem, and out. And then and then a nice swivel right there. Nice swivel at the leg. And then the ball joint. It has nice double jointed knees. Although, they're pretty stiff. Here's the other one. The other one moves much better. But, uh, yeah, nice double jointed knees right there. No swivel at the, uh, at the leg armor. The feet go up a good amount, down a good amount, kind of on an ankle pivot, 360 degrees up, down. So yeah, the feet are very nicely detailed as well. And then, um, that's about it for articulation of this guy. Very decent articulation, nice waist articulation, body articulation. The arm has nice articulation, the head and everything. So yeah, very nice articulation. Um, much more articulation than the old version of this guy, of course. But, uh, before I end the video here, um, let me give you a bit more closer look. This time I'm gonna take the phone off the stand and show him, and show you him like this. Because he's pretty cool and I really like this guy. I really like the blood, too. The blood is, like, the key feature. That's why I can't stop talking about the blood. It's so cool. But, um... It has, it has a hole right there at the bottom of the foot, so you could put them on a peg hole stand. But, uh, that's about it. Um, before, I, before I end the video here, I'm going to do a couple comparisons. So, yeah, and like I said, I, I, and like I probably didn't say it earlier, but I do have Guardian Predator. I have the I have the Ultimate Guardian Predator, so I'm going to review, review him next. Probably today or another day, but I am going to review him. But now I'm gonna get on to some comparisons. Very first comparison I wanna do is this guy next to the jungle hunter. Here he is next to the to the ultimate jungle hunter. They look pretty good together. It would be pretty cool if NECA did a ultimate battle damaged jungle hunter with alternate heads and everything. But this is good for now. They look good they look good next to each other. And they did release a two pack of but Jungle Hunter was unmasked, but they did release a two-pack before of the non-ultimate figures. But yeah, they look good together. Now I'm going to add in uh, Scout. Here's Scout Predator right here. Let me move Jungle out of the way. But here's Scout Predator. Um, Scout Predator looks pretty cool next to him. See, I've, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, this guy comes with no plasma caster. Mine specifically, I don't know if anyone else's... Um, else, else's predator comes with the plasma caster, but as soon as I opened this guy, he didn't come with the plasma caster. I don't think he does, but that's fine. But there's Scout next to him, looking cool. So nice, nice of size in comparison and everything. Then, then a couple more Lost Tribe members. Here he is next to a uh, Lost Predator, Ultimate Lost. So look pretty cool next to each other. Well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This guy wants to fall. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Now is not the time for this guy to fall. But, uh, let me bring in, uh, let me move, um, let me move Lost, and here is, is, a uh, Stalker. So, Stalker looks pretty cool next to him as well. So, there you go. And then, and then a uh, couple more predators here. Here is the uh, is the uh, wasp predator. See, I kind of really like wasp predator. He's a really cool predator. But there he is next to this guy. They look cool together. So there we go.
And then, last but not least, for the Predator comparison, anyway, is Hornhead. So, yeah, here's Hornhead from a Predator Life and Death. But, uh, yeah. Now, before I end the video, I'm just gonna do a comparison. I'm gonna compare them to two aliens. Here he is next to the Big Shop. This is an old version of the Big Shop. So, yeah, they look cool together. They're good in scale and everything. I really like this old Big Shop. I think he's one of my favorites. But, there he is, standing like that next to him. But they look good next to each other. See, and then there he is next to a more modern NECA alien. The, the, oh, the ultimate warrior alien. So yeah, the ultimate warrior alien and this guy look pretty cool next to each other. But, there they are. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you liked the video, just... You, if you if you enjoyed the video, you can like and subscribe, or you don't have to, or if you didn't if, or if you didn't like the video, oh well. But like I said, I will review Guardian Predator because I did buy him today. But uh, I I'm really enjoyed this guy. I I give him a, a a ten out of ten. Like I said, the accessories he could come with a bit more of of a, of accessories like that net gun and the hand he uses to hold a net gun. And the unmasked kind of kind of open mandible head sculpt and a screaming head sculpt would have been cool as well. But uh but uh, yeah, if you like if you enjoyed the video, just like and subscribe. Or if you didn't, that's fine. But I will review Guardian next, so stay tuned for that reveal. But that's, that's about it for this. And I probably will do a room tour eventually. Cause I have a big predator collection, so I might do a room tour. But uh See you in the next one, guys.